What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Megan Georgia. This is Megan Georgia Arts and Entertainment. I'm so happy to have you here on my very first video. You are the OGs of this channel, the original gangsters. Um, even though there probably will be about two people watching this and it'll probably be like my mum and I don't know, my nana. Um, Anyway, if you're not my mum and my nana, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. Um, my first video is going to be on the topic of harmonicas. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a few here. I've got three, considering that I only um, started playing it basically back in March when the lockdown started, and I have quickly accumulated... Uh, and I'm tempted, honestly, to get even more. I'm, I'm wanting more different new keys. Uh, so, yeah, it seems like I've got a little bit of maybe a bit of an addiction happening. Could say I maybe need to go to harmonica rehab or rehab. <laughs> no, it's not very funny. Um, so anyway, I'm going to talk a bit about different harmonica keys and what you might use them for and just uh, play them a little bit so you can hear what the different keys sound like if you're deciding um, what kind of keys you might want to buy. Um, so the first one I bought back in March was a G major and it's good, like it's a decent quality but it was a kind of a cheap one compared to the others um, and so it's not as good as the others but this is a G major and I got it to go with my cigar box guitar because I I went to a market and I saw this and I was like, what is that? Like, I just, and look, it's got a little that even comes undone. It's so cool. It's like my baby. Anyway, so I bought this weird ass cigar box. I always call it box car. I don't know why. I think because it makes me feel like a 1920s hobo, like traveling in a box car. Like I've left my wife and kids behind because there's just no work and I'm like, Play in the blues anyway I never even played the blues um up until now like my dad plays the blues a bit but I'm just like I don't know anyway I saw this thing and I was just like I, I have to have it um and it's quite easy on these I feel like they're made for the blues like you don't even really need to know what you're doing and you can just you know I prefer the brass slider because um, it's heavier but maybe we'll make another video another day about anyway this is about harps harmonicas um, so I got this G G major because this is in open G um, so basically um, like a G major uh, little riff it's got quite a nice melancholy sort of feel to it but yeah it's not really the bluesy what I was hoping to have because when I play the bluesy sort of stuff it doesn't really go like <laughs> obviously is not very good because I'm a beginner and um, still learning you can hear that it's not the right key like this key that key they're on different planets um, you know they're in different universes so 
Anyway, I went online, I was like, how do I play the blues, blah blah blah, Google Google, and I found a video of some guy and he said, oh, if you want to play the blues with the harmonica and the guitar at the same time, what you need to do is get a B flat harmonica and you need to play in the key of C. So, I did that with my dirty, filthy, capitalist soul that just wanted to buy things. And I bought, is this the right one? Yeah, I bought a B flat, B there you can see, it's got B flat, and I went home and I got out my regular guitar, and I popped it into the neck holder, play like just a little riff in C, and I bought this um, B flat, and it's actually, it's quite a fun harmonica, like just on its own. Um, I'll play it a little bit before I go on along with my blues story, just so you can get a sense if you want a harmonica in flat. It's I find it it's a lot brighter than um, the G major. It's less melancholy. It has that more bluesy sound on its own. It's very like um, 1920s hobo in a box car. Oh, I did it uh, back to front, did I? Yeah, I did. I did it back to front. Okay. So. Yeah, it's quite, I feel like it's a bit easier to play. It's also, this one's a better quality, being a bit of a more weird key. Um, it was out, 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 ooh, more expensive. So I think the G major was about like 20 or $30. This one was, I think, around 70 So it's obviously, it's a bit better quality. However, what this man told me, on the internet about just playing in G in C. Look, I'm sure he was right. He probably actually knows more than me. I'm I'm not that advanced a musician. Um, however, I tried it. Um, I tried it and it's just okay. So I was like, okay, I'll play a little riff in C, like like it, it. I know the capos on. Guitar's in C standard, so I put it here. So it actually is in E, so I actually, I am playing in C even though it doesn't look like it. As you can tell, again, as you can tell, again, the keys are just, they're not quite, they're not quite in step, they're, mm. It's not, it definitely doesn't sound bluesy, um, which is probably partly like the way I'm playing, but I mean, yeah. So anyway, because I'm just a really filthy consumer, um, and I'm not used to having this kind of disposable income, I bought an E minor, and this, if you're thinking about uh, getting a minor key harmonica, this it's it's really interesting i think like the only way i can describe it really is that it sounds like every dark night of the soul movie sequence in every like disney kids film that vaguely follows a hero's journey story structure so ah ah i am the count <laughs> it's spooky that's why i did the count thing i don't i don't know maybe that didn't work
love it. It's so. Mm, I mean, it's 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 a minor. It's E minor. Like, what do you expect? It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I don't think I've actually tried playing. I've tried playing it with the cigar box, but sometimes things are a bit more simple with um with this normal guitar. So let's try and see. Um, let's try and see what happens if we do actually do this. E minor guitar, E minor harp with ow, ow, ow. Oh, this thing, honestly, ow, it hurts my fingers. Oh, okay. So, let's just play a little bit of like a I love it, but that's because I'm a gloomy little emo kid. This is the one problem. If you have this, I mean, if you're really vain like me and you don't want to put your hair up, it's going to get caught in your hair and that's just like one of those painful things in life that you're going to have to deal with. Um, yeah, so now you have, there you have it, the three different harmonicas. So the G, probably the easiest, best choice for a beginner. Um, and it's uh, it's really good to just play with a guitar. You know, you can get you can play like quite a lot of songs, like um, a lot of songs that are in major keys, like songs of the radio. Um, oh, I just put this in back to front. Um, the flat, the B flat, the f is probably a bit more. It's more fun to play just on its own if you just want to like walk around or sit in the back of a box car when you've left your wife and children to starve in the 1920s depression. You know, it's got that nice like. <laughs> like it's very bright. It's easy. Um, the G is good for like you know. <laughs> Yeah, and then lastly you've got the minor key, which is just your spooky, sad, like lonely vampire in a coffin, uh, dark night of the soul, you know, all is lost. I love it, I love it, I don't regret it. I was like wondering if I would regret it because it's pretty obscure. It's like, what am I even going to play this with? But I just fucking love it. I love it so much. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, that's the end of my video about different types of harmonicas. And um, if you're more clever and talented than me, I'm sure you can figure out how to use a B flat to play the blues. Until then, I'll keep you updated. Um, I do have a, a friend coming over um, later on who is uh, a better musician than me so I'll see if he can figure it out and um, yeah I'll add that to the video if it's if we get any good uh, footage that sounds good 
Um, until then, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way through, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like my video, um, hit the bell if you want to. I I never hit the bell on other people, so it's pretty hypocritical to you know ask you to hit the. Anyway, just subscribe and like my video and leave a comment. Um, cool. Love ya. Bye. <laughs> Rehab. <laughs>